Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your trainer for this AZ One Hundred Four Azure Administrator Associate Training. We are at Module Three of the entire course. Module Three is all about Azure administration, and in this lesson, we are going to learn about ARM templates. Let's have a quick look at the high-level view on what are the things we are going to learn on this video. We're going to talk about these ARM templates advantages and what are the benefits of ARM template. Then we will go through schema, parameters, variables, functions, and resources and outputs. I will give you a quick high-level view on what is Azure ARM template quick start templates. And during the whole process, we will have a demonstration around what I am talking about as well. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The Azure Resource Manager template precisely defines all the Resource Manager resources in a deployment. You can deploy a Resource Manager template into a resource group as a single operation. Using Resource Manager template will make your deployments faster and more repeatable. For example, you no longer have to create a VM in the portal, wait for it to finish, and then create the next VM. Resource Manager takes care of the entire deployment for you. So before we dive deep into ARM templates, let me quickly tell you some of the benefits of ARM template. The first one is ARM templates improves consistency. Resource Manager templates provide a common language for you and others to describe your deployments. Regardless of the tool or the SDK that you use to deploy the template, the structure, format, and expressions inside the template remain the same. Another benefit is expresses complex deployments. Templates enable you to deploy multiple resources in the correct order. For example, you wouldn't want to deploy a virtual machine prior to creating an operating system disk or network interface. Resource Manager maps out each resource and its dependent resources and create dependent resources first. Dependency mapping helps ensure that the deployment is carried out in the correct order. Another advantage is these templates reduce manual error prone tasks. Manually creating and connecting resources can be time consuming and it's easy to make mistakes. Resource Manager ensures that the deployment happens the same way every time. And you have an ability to run these templates as a code as well. Template expresses your requirement through code. Think of a template as a type of infrastructure as a code that can be shared, tested, and versioned similar to any other piece of software. Also, because templates are code, you can create paper trail that you can follow. The template code documents the deployment. Most users maintain their templates under some kind of revision control, such as Git. When you change the template, its version history also documents how the template and your document has evolved over time. And by doing that, these ARM templates promote reusability as well. Your templates can contain parameters that are filled in which the template runs. A parameter can define a username or password, a domain name, and so on. The template parameters enable you to create multiple versions of your infrastructure, such as staging and production, while still utilizing the exact same template. These templates are linkable. You can link Resource Manager template together to make the template themselves modular. And you can write smaller templates that each define a piece of a solution and then combine them to create a complete system. And finally, these templates simplify orchestrations. You only need to deploy the template to deploy all of your resources. You only need to deploy the template 
to deploy all of your resources. Normally, this would take multiple operations. Let's talk about the template schema. ARM templates are written in JSON, which allows you to express data stored as an object, such as a virtual machine in text. A JSON document is essentially a collection of key value pairs. Each key is a string whose value can be a string, a number, a list of values, an object, etc. Search for deploy a custom template. You can create your own template using the editor or you can use some of the common templates available. I'm going to click a create a Windows virtual machine common template. And this is how it looks like if you select that option. I'm going to go back to select a template. And this time I'm going to search for. I'm going to select a template with an active directory with a new domain and uh, high availability. And I'm going to click on edit a template. And this gives you a view of what I'm talking about. The schema is the location of the JSON schema file that describes the version of the template language. In the parameters section of the template, you specify which values you can input when deploying these resources. The available properties of a parameters are name, default value, allowed value, minimum value, maximum length, minimum length, etc. Then we have template variables. This template section is where you define values that are used throughout the template. The variables can help make your template easier to maintain. For example, you might define a storage account name one time as a variable, and then you use this variable throughout the template. If the storage account name changes, you need to only update the variable once. And then we have template resources. This section is where you define the Azure resources that make up your deployment. The type of the resource is like the Microsoft.network slash public IP address, etc. Because resource types can change over time, API versions refer to the version of the resource type you want to use. As resource type evolves, you can modify your template to work with the latest features. So let's talk about template functions. This section is where you define procedures that you want to repeat throughout the template. Similar to variables, functions can help make your template easier to maintain. When defining a user functions, there are some restrictions. Functions can't access variables and the function can only use parameters that are defined in the function. And the function can't use reference function as well. So here is a function that create a unique name. You could use this function when creating resources that have globally unique naming requirements. What about template outputs? This section is where you define any information you would like to receive when the template runs. For example, you might want to receive your VM's IP address or fully qualified domain names. Information you don't know until the deployment runs. So here is a structure of that output definition. So it's a good practice to comment your templates. For inline comments, you can comment a single line with double stash dot. And you can comment a block of line with slash asterisk or asterisk slash. This can vary across different tools, so be sure to check that what works for you. So what is Quick Start Templates? Azure Quick Start Templates are resource manager templates provided by the Azure community. Templates provide everything you need to deploy your solution, while others might serve as a starting point for your template. Either way, you can study this template to learn how to best author and structure your own templates. So let me quickly show you how to access this Q 
quick start templates so i am on the azure quick start templates page this is where you would be able to find all the templates available so let's quickly check the first one which is deploy a simple virtual machine for windows so you can read about what this template means and uh, you can understand the parameters required for the template and you can click on browse to github to get more information related to this template as well you can click on visualize to see how it is going to look like when you deploy it and what are the components which is involved in in this particular deployment as well now if you wish to deploy you can click on deploy to azure this straight away take you this template into your azure portal as well since i have logged in in the same browser window it took me to the same place where you just have to fill a few information related to the template and click on review and create to start your installation that's how simple it is to use a quick start template and this template provide everything you need to deploy your solution now that we have learned about the arm template schema function and output file and we learned about what is azure quick start template as well so that concludes the module 3 which is azure administration in the next video we're going to knowledge check on the things what we have learned on this module so we'll see you on the next video till then take care